been walking around for half an hour now, no luck. <laughs> uh, it's really hot, but the views are outstanding. Welcome to Haplu. We have to find somewhere to stay. Wow, okay. Didn't see the mountains. <laughs> Cute. We ended down some street and now we got back to the main road. Oh, mashallah. I think this sums up Pakistan very well. You see here, here they have a restriction line, right? In Europe. Uh, museums, North American museums, South American museums, China museums, everywhere we visited along the way. You do not go past this line. But in Pakistan, you're just allowed to. Right? And not only that, you can just touch it and you're encouraged to. Okay, let's explore more. Look at that beautiful sunset over there. It's been a very random day yeah. in Chaplu, but I do like this menu. It's so cheap, guys. Honestly, you've got to check it out. Alright, we're in Chapman. Now we have to go find a hotel. I think we pretty much go this way. So let's go. Alright, lovely guy on the bus to ride us to tea, but I think it's getting quite late, so we just need to find a hotel, and I think we're going the right way. I hope so anyway. We haven't booked anywhere, but we'll find somewhere. Hey guys! No adventure. <laughs> Wish us luck. I can nearly blend it in. All right, we found one place. It looks pretty nice. It's not on Google Maps. This is a district education office. Wow, okay. Didn't see the mountains. <laughs> oh, an altitude I think of 2600 right now. Right, let's see if this place has room. Asalaamu As Alaikum. This building is under construction. It's not ready yet. Uh, no one's there. All right, on we go. It's from football, dedication, motivation, success. I think it's a school. Wow, what a view. It says it's a hostel, but it isn't. Um, well, I mean it is, but it's not for adults. It's for kids. So I think maybe it's like a boarding school or something. It kind of was super confused uh, to see us, but anyway, on we go. We ended down some street, and now we got back to the main road. Oh, mashallah. Hello, Assalamualaikum, Avtika. Oh. Very heavy on education here, aren't they? Been walking around for about half an hour now, no luck. <laughs> uh, it's really hot, but the views are outstanding. Welcome to Haplu. Yeah, hopefully we can make it to the mosque today. We've missed, missed Juma time. We're in the bus. Uh, we got here about three o'clock. It's now about 3.30. But those views are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful mountains. Google saying there's a hostel about six minutes walk away, so let's go back there, have a look. I love when you visit these countries, random countries, and you just see random things like, like this, for example. Just a duck living its best life with this gorgeous mountain backdrop. Free range duck, guys. Pakistan. Look at that view. Unreal. Kids. <laughs> Cute. It's so green. We've just come to another place. Inshallah, they have room. Uh, but nobody seems to be answering. So let's see. Natalie just broke us in. I don't see anybody. I don't hear anybody. But I see rooms. Okay, that's very good. No. See a pair of chopper. Ah, Angie, there's a guy. Let's talk. This place is run by the most adorable old man in the history of the world. Not my own granddad, of course. And um, yeah. Ah, Angie. 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 Yeah, he's gonna make chai for us. He's a very nice guy. Um, I don't think you can hear very well, or maybe my language is just terrible. I don't know. He said he doesn't know anything about the business. It looks completely empty here, which is a shame. He says the girls know, so he's going to call girls over. Um, but it's very calm, very serene here. It's a shame. It's, it's so empty. 
we'll find out how much the price is etc but I think it's probably around about three or four the only thing is with this place you might struggle if you don't speak Urdu but I know this place is on booking.com which is kind of random green guest house something like that anyway check it out I'll tell you how it is Head to the fort. That's like a bike, I think. Yeah, yeah. You should come here to the room there, whatever. Uh, visit. Mm. Okay. Wow. This is it. Buying feature. This is what people come here for. See it in the morning all lit up with the sun. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. The light hits it perfectly. Just interrupting a, a wedding shoot going on there. Not a bad place to do it, is it? Not a bad place if you got the cash. Just ignoring the married couple for a moment, you can really again see the Buddhist um, influences here, right? Just in the heart of the Himalayas, it's crazy. <sighs> so, Buddhism like. Gonna head into this building now. Oh, now he's getting, uh, getting a lot of attention. Yeah. Change the plan, we're going up here instead. Oh my god, more bloody steps. You look amazing. <laughs> Let's go through this tiny door. I mean, what is it? Four foot tall? Okay, here goes nothing. Oof, it's a bloody maze. There she comes. There's all sorts of tools they use to clean, dig, uh, rakes, spades, what they used to cook in. It's, getting, it's like a museum, but it's the second one we've been to in a couple of days, so it sort of just feels the same. You forget how advanced they were, because I mean, let's be fair, they did, like, you know, they had rakes and stuff hundreds of years ago, which is genius. Spades to dig, it's just crazy. Yeah. And everything is just made up of rock. See, everything is just made up of rock and mud. Got these tiny little windows to let air in, in these tiny little door alleys. Oh, this is, what's the kitchen? Used to cook. And here's the wedding couple again. This is the pantry. It's very interesting. They're purposefully so small, so adults can't actually fit in. So they send kids to go down and grab the grains and the wheat and flour, whatever they store down there. It's quite an interesting concept, isn't it? Just to avoid you stealing, basically. So all forts in Pakistan have this. Very interesting. But with that being said, we have been to the uh, Chichu tunnels in Vietnam, where the Viet Cong used to live underground. And a lot of this actually reminded me of that. And the hole they dig was significantly smaller than that. Can't believe we fitted in and we went 100 meters through it. One of the most scariest experiences ever. I thought it was too much. It was like this side. No, no, it was probably like half the square. It was probably like half. Actually, you're right. The Chichu tunnels was a lot smaller than this. Like 30 centimeters across and 30 centimeters in height. Yeah. But this is probably more like. 50 50. So I don't know if any of you've been to Vietnam, but check out the Chu Chi's tunnels. Remind me of that. It was uh, quite an experience to hear that. Okay, let's explore more. Here we have the artifacts. So again, more cooking tools. Up here, this is the handy pot. More cooking tools. And again, another space for the kids to go down and grab grains, wheat, flour. I think this was probably mainly used. Probably not that one. That one looks a bit too big. Yeah. Here we have an old Islamic kettle. A couple of doppies, some chapel, and some very nice jewelry. Which I am surprised is locked away because here they just put things out in the open, like you can just touch the artifacts, it's not a problem. Maybe they are high value items, I've no idea. And then we have this wonderful garden view. This is the museum, but look at that. Beautiful sunset over there. Absolutely beautiful. Happy. So I think this sums up Pakistan very well. You see here, here they have a uh, restriction line, right? In Europe museums, North American museums, South American museums, China museums, everywhere we visited them under that. You do not go past this line. But in Pakistan, you're just allowed to. Right, and not only that, but here we have some artifacts and this is an old hookah pipe. And look, I can just touch it 
and you're encouraged to lift up the pot that they use to cook handy with. This is obviously an old school lamp. No idea what that is. It looks quite interesting. Like you can just come here and touch the artifacts. Blows my mind. Blows my mind. Just a light at all. It's a bit like Jewelry box. Know, Jack, uh, what's it called? You know, like Union Jack. Oh, Union Jack. Union Jack. Yeah, it does. That's a good pickup, Babs. But I like this detail. What's yeah, the little leaves. leaves. It's yeah. nice. So, this is the view from outside of where we literally just were. You just have to climb up that floor. Views are amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, we're going to go through to the restaurant now, see if we get kicked out. There's all the famous people that were making a noise down there. Oh, interesting. So there we go. Oh, this is the garden. Oh, wow. We really had the birds. We're playing around in there. And again, more mountains. Mountains, mountains, and mountains. Check it out. Katamand, Bogila. Check it out. This place is a lounge, Katamand. And the view from here is outstanding. Not sure if anyone is here, it's sort of private dining. I think the ladies out there, you get the point. The view is amazing from there. My beautiful wife. And then you have more forest and mountains. And over here, just hear all the birds. It's very serene. I suppose that's why they call it Serena. Whew, that's been hard. Hi. Hello. Uh, that took an unexpected turn. We met a lovely lady who runs a few local charities here. She's right now in town to build a mosque. Um, it got demolished. Um, I don't know why, we didn't ask, probably should have. Uh, but yeah, lovely people, lovely lady. Um, bought us drinks, we said we'd pay for the whole thing. She was like, no, 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 no. So very lovely Auntie G, we're now going to go and get some local food down a food street. Um, so yeah, how food full of surprises. I know, very lovely. Yeah, lovely. Asalaamu Alaikum. <laughs> we're in uh, Khaplu. Uh, this is our here for a month helping to reconstruct a mosque because it's been demolished and so it's kind of what she does. She sets up orphanages and she runs charities and she gives her own money towards this. I think her husband was in the army or the royal army or something like this. So after we spoke with Ali and had a lovely evening, um, it was getting dark so when we found our driver we asked him if we knew anywhere to eat and he said there's a food street so we've come to this food street but on the way here we actually didn't know where we were going we were getting a little bit worried because we were there for about well, 25 minutes half an hour yeah we just didn't know where we were going when we turned up it was all in darkness and he said it's okay the electricity is out but they have so much electricity so uh, now we're here this is the place where we're at and it's called food street it's not the street of food place I know! <laughs> Shocker! It's quite nice, it's an outdoor area which probably mm. looks really nice in the daytime. We're going to all our food and enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> you look too damn clear what you're saying, do you? Alright, let me, let me wrap it up. So, here we are. It's been a very random day yeah. in Chaplu, but I do like this menu that's so cheap, guys. Honestly, you got to check it out. You can get a chicken burger for like 80p. I'm either going to go for dal mash or dal chana. Ooh, dal chana is chuck peas? Yeah. Ch chuck peas? Chickpeas, yeah. Chick peas. What's wrong with me? Has anyone seen? Why does that say running items? Yeah, I mean beef is a running item. Chin says, oh that's true. That's true. I don't know what I'll go for. Maybe 
I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. Okay. Oh, I missed. Oh yeah, that's not. And also, she looks like two orphanages. She runs orphanages and um, runs... No, she doesn't run out of orphanages. Why are you so cute? She's still look beautiful. She, um... She sets up orphanages. Yeah, that's the word. So she sets up... Sets up orphanages. Say again. <laughs> That's so funny! That's not funny! My wife is an awful person, but I'm so sorry. I forget who edited this. <laughs> um, yeah. So, she runs um, orphanages. Yeah. Um, she runs orphanages. Yeah. I'm keeping it rolling. I'm keeping it rolling. Oh, yeah. No, I have to keep it rolling. So, we're driving for a while and... Oh, no, We thought, well, you can't bloody see me, can you? I look like a bloody ghost. Wait a minute. That's the back of, okay. Oh, you can hear it go. Or is that a helicopter? I don't know. Anyway. Like, I don't, I don't, sorry. I'm trying to get this straight. The light is terrible. Hold on. Ra rapido. And it's purposefully small because they would send children down whenever they needed grain or wheat or whatever they needed. The reason behind this isn't like child labour, it's just to stop people from stealing.